All right, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Portal of Evil Stolen Runes. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom, continuing my, um, <laughs> what's it called? Penny Pincher Arcade playthrough. Let's get going. All right, we'll be picking up again. We're actually in the final area beyond the portal what's her face Vanessa has recovered all but one of the seals which is pretty cool she's doing a pretty good job and apparently apparently in this place somewhere here is her grandfather Abraham Van Helsing right outside this castle this mansion whatever it is I guess it's a castle I have no idea there, she met the ghost of Giovanni, the hunchback, and who said that, you know, he cannot go to heaven or to hell. <laughs> he can't not progress in, in the afterlife until this whole thing is resolved and the seals are all returned. So his eternal destiny is you know, kind of depending on her. So we got uh, uh, some sort of, what did we get out of there? We got this door knocker out of this. You know, uh, you, 10 things left to use. We There's a plaque right here we need to be able to pry up. There's this, but we don't have a jewel to insert. Or a button, I mean. Anything else besides the door? This place looks pretty ominous, I have to say. Alright, well let's just um, take a look at the door. Oh no, looks like something is missing here. Well, what do you know? Oh wow! <laughs> That's something. Restore the drawing by pressing the buttons to move the stripes. The buttons? Okay, to move the stripes. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so these are the keys. The end pieces are the keys. Like that? Is there any trick to it, or is it just... If This is all. This seems... Oh, no, that doesn't seem right. I... That's the trick. I was like, okay, so these move two. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So this can move. I do see it. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. So. Oh, this is a little bit less <laughs> amicable than I would have liked. So do we have to get this centerpiece? Hmm. And then you can move this individually. I see with that. Now this looks good right here, but this does not look good. So, like that? I think that's good. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see if it will let me move it again. Huh. Well, let's just do this one over here. Okay, there's the center. I'm not sure I understand entirely. This doesn't move, right? There we are. Okay, not so hard. Pretty easy. Just had to figure it out. Um, Vanessa, I don't know if that's a good idea. Something's swirling. And left. That may or may not be a good sign. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, wow. There's a gigantic statue of something ominous looking. Oh, there's a... Vanessa, 
I have a bad feeling about using this seal. It seems that our trader is planning to create an army, not of humans, but of monsters. Be careful, my darling granddaughter. We must try to stop them. Alrighty. That's 10 out of 15. We're not doing well on those. <laughs> okay. The center part of the mosaic is missing, so we'll have to come back. There's a... How about this bell... This rope? Break the stone. Do I have anything? Nope. A jewel? Nah. Don't have anything right now. I threw away all the things I had that I could have used to break it. I know you did, pal. The mechanism needs a lever to operate. Huh. There's a lot of things here that we need things before we can do anything with them. Oops. Um, let's actually go back. Did not mean to go up there yet. What could I use to lift such a heavy gate? How about a, a match? The fuck is hot f fire will heat the air and the, the hot air is light. Lighter. No. Okay. Never mind. Hmm. No, no comment on that ominous statue. All right, well, let's go. A stairwell. There's a door with a keyhole. Uh, it's locked. I need to find the key. <laughs> There's a drawing underneath the dried dirt. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. All right, let's go through here. Man. Oh, geez, what is this? The castle looks abandoned, as if it's been empty for a long time. But then why bring the seal here? Speaking of the seal, I found it, but it's on some kind of pedestal, webbed by cables. Considering my recent experience, I decided not to touch it straight away, but first to learn how these cables are connected with the seal. Vanessa, is it possible? Did you learn? <laughs> My goodness, Jim. She actually, well, let's actually see if there's any other messages in here. Did she write anything else down? She learned. Okay, the seals, three seals are in their place. There's just one artifact left to find in this world. That means that Grandpa's likely somewhere in this castle, too. I hope he's okay. Managed to talk to the hunchback's ghost. Giovanni can't stay. Okay, yeah, we t we read this. And he met the gran his, her grandpa and then got lost. Whatever that means. Okay, how about this? There's a spearhead. And there's a hammer. Oh, come on. Grab that hammer. Oh, okay, good. She can use it to break up that stuff over we just saw. I have to collect six bat figurines. We have one. And one is not six. Are those those same, like, sort of seals that were on the cathedral? They're in... Back in the regular world at the beginning? I wonder. Can we use this to scratch it? You can't scratch with it? No. Why would you even say that? Eh, it's probably not a good idea to hammer it. That is true. Okay, let's see. You could use the hammer to bash this door in. But then again, you probably say you're not strong enough to do that. But then again, you did chop that tree down. And I don't think that you're strong enough to do that either. And you managed it. Good job, Vanessa. A symbol. Let's see, did you throw away your... Oh, yep, you did. Great work. Idiot. That doesn't go here, does it? Nope, it does not. I didn't think so, but it's always best to try... Ew, I don't like this bat image. It's a vampire bat or some sort of nasty looking bat. Look at those fangs. Gross. Ew, and those... 
yucky feet gross <laughs> sorry to all bat lovers out there but still it's kind of gross yo let's see here no this isn't that nope I'm, yeah it doesn't make any sense why would you do that in here again yes back in here again always check your places where you can find or use items like this they sometimes reach you that they become <laughs> they recharge we can look again you know this time we have to find 15 items rather than use 10 so we need to find a shoe with a buckle a bell a number two a brush a ribbon a jack perfume trombone and some more stuff trombone should be easy now red and blue I know that that probably means like they're either behind something that we have to open let's see perfume perfumes right here so blue must be that you have to find it inside something maybe I, I don't know let's see brush ribbon number two jack fan spider hmm there's a ring and a cigar a chest a chest knight rose is that lipstick or is that something else a pen oh we put the pen cap on that that's right well we'll come back to this if we need it we know where it is hmm huh. brush a bell it's a handbell when I was a kid I used to be in a handbell choir at church <laughs> it was a, it went range anywhere from being you know okay kind of kind of okay pretty decent to pretty stupid <laughs> it just depended on who was in charge and how many people we had <laughs> it's kind of funny shoe with a buckle a monkey a pipe a fork a lace doily <laughs> Jack ribbon. Hmm. Apple. Statuette. I'm really not. Is that a statuette? Yes, it is. I was like, wait a second. Smoking pipe. That's my smoking pipe. It's not a smoking pipe. It's a smoking pipe. It's a difference. Oh, alarm clock, right? Her. And a bracelet. Hmm. Ribbon, jack, brush, number two, spider, and a fan. Oh, I saw a fan somewhere. I think, anyways. Ah, it's right here. A hand fan. Not a machine operated fan. And a notebook. I think it was in here. I saw it right here. Yeah, so blue means it's inside something that you have to open up. Red must mean you have to probably do something to it. Probably we have to take off one of these pages, right? Like that, yes. Yes, that's what red means. Okay, and there's number two. A shoe with a buckle. We have to move something or get some, what was that? A jack. Oh, that was a jack, duh. Okay, well, here at the end, finally, I'm finally learning. A shoe with a buckle? Oh, we need to put this on a shoe? Oh, crap's sake. Do you all see a shoe? Oh, right here? Is that a shoe? Oh, it is a shoe. And there, okay. You have to other, you have to alter something in the main area if it's red, and you have to open something and go inside if it's blue. I gotcha. Which means all these things are out here without anything covering or being having to be done to it first interesting interesting brush ribbon spider bracelet oh there's a ribbon oh man I feel like no oh wait there's a spider that was a different spider and a brush and a bracelet oh there's a bracelet a oh, a paintbrush. I was looking for like a hairbrush. Derp. What we get? We got 
A jack. Oh, we can use it to open up that heavy gate. Yes. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, now slide through. Hope the, bet the jack doesn't break. Why would you even tell me about that idea? That possibility. Let's go through. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's Giovanni again. Vanessa, be extremely careful. Hundreds of vampires were sleeping the eternal sleep here until recently. But someone from our order, who betrayed the order's ideals, has made all the preparations for waking them. They needed only the seal of life to complete this process. And I was foolish and naive enough to bring it here. The power of the seal raised an entire host of monsters. Vampires, ghouls, werewolves. I became their first victim. Werewolves. They won't wake up until the sun goes down, so you'd better hurry up. Take the seal while they're sleeping. Yikes. Oh, that's just lovely. That's just amazingly good news. I saw Giovanni again. He told me what's happening in this abandoned castle. There's the army, right? Hundreds of vampires have been sleeping the eternal sleep here until recently. But someone made all the preparations for waking them. I needed They needed only the seal of life to complete this process. Its power could raise a host of monsters, vampires, ghouls, werewolves. They sleep while the sun is shining, but when it goes down, they'll wake. So I'd better hurry up. Yeah, you better, pal. Jeez. Uh-oh. Are you sure you want to do that? Is there a game over? Oh, wait. Right there. Meow, meow, meow. The traitor must be stopped by any means necessary. The gates of the underworld are being secured by only three seals. Oh, wait. The gates of the underworld being secured by only three seals can stand for some time, but we don't know what it is worse. What will come out of the gates or what will be done with the power of the stolen seals? That's a good point. Imagine what power the one holding artifacts of such strength will possess. He will be able to create and control demonic creatures. The timekeeper's made a calendar for him, so he'll be able to travel through time freely. And if he dies, his slaves will resurrect him. And now the traitor is closer than ever to the creation of a host of immortal warriors. With such power, he'll be able, be able to rule the world. Well, that's quite creepy, that is. So the timekeeper's made that cal time traveling calendar for him. And if he dies, his slaves will resurrect him. Wow. Oh, no wonder he wanted to get... Oh, well. I think it's Mills, Gordon Mills. I'm sure everyone thinks that by now. There's... We have 11 out of 15. I think... Man, what a scumbag. Some backbone parts are missing. Okay, we don't have all the backbone parts. Like, apparently. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh. Oh, that's a fun lo lo looking skull. I would have loved to not meet that thing while it was alive and kicking, or, or kicking anyways. We need to use ten items. Alright, oh, we have a raven. That's a cool. It's kind of like my channel um, logo. Ravens are cool. Corkscrew, spur, a feather, a spider, a walnut. Oh, okay. I thought it was a coin for a second. No, it's a walnut. I see it. Cracked open in half. Oh, maybe. I have no idea. A knife. A foot. Ew. Is that a chicken foot? A wing. And a pear. Now you can sound off. <laughs> That's true. Alrighty. What is a foot? Ah, man, this is it's kind of difficult. Hmm. No, 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 no. Let's get back over here. Stop wasting my time. I don't want the vampires to wake up. 
There we are. Or the werewolves. <laughs> the werewolves? Yeah, he said werewolf. He did. He's having a hard day, so, you know, give him a break. He was their first victim. What, a, what, a, what jerks? I mean, they're obvious jerks, but the traitor. Ew. That was quite disgusting. Hmm. Are those backbone parts or something else? Hmm. What else? The foot. And a wing. Oh, this wing can probably go on this guard or this statue right here. There we are. A feather. Does that go with this bird? Nope. Okay, that was a good try. Not that good. Oh wait, no. Open. There's a nutcracker. Put the walnut with it. It's like the head of a spear or halberd or something. Oh, that corkscrew. There you go. What is that? I wonder if that's what we're going to get. There's a chili. Chi, chi, chi. They, they, they. Oh, there's a ch chicken foot. Gross. I mean, chicken feet are fine, but I don't know what they're doing with it. That seems ominous. Hmm. This doesn't go with this. Cut up this chili. No, 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 no. And this is a spur. I don't think that would go with anything here. No, 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 no. How about a chicken feather? No. Nope. All right. There's a, like a, a nail or a railroad spike or looks like some Roman soldiers are going to be crucifying Jesus with that. Eesh. Ouch. So horrible. Oof. Man, dude. Okay, pocket watch. A sword, suit of armor. Where would spurs go, though? Man, I cannot. A pair of scissors. A little musket. A demon skull. Hat. There's uh, some matches. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Eh. Darn, darn, darn. Feather. Stick it in the spider web. Um, no. I don't think so. Spur. Spur of the moment. Sometimes I don't recognize the things. I see them, but I don't recognize what they are. Because either they're not very distinctly drawn, or I'm obtuse. Either. Both. Both and. I can't use that object here. Oh, wait. A feather in the hat? There we are. Haha. -ha. Oh, wow, I see. It's a different sort of hat than I thought it was. Knife. Knife, knife, knife. Ooh. Okay. Some no, ding bust it. <laughs> ding bust it. <laughs> okay, sure. Is that a whip or a lasso? I I can't tell. Here, cut up this wolf thing. I'm sorry, this is sort of just me guessing. I'm guessing this goes here. I'm guessing this goes here. No? If y'all see it, let me know. That joke never gets old. To me. There we are. There's a sheath. Alrighty. The glass cutter. Alright. I guess that, so we can get the seal out, maybe? 
Hey, look at the, he's trying to wake these. Oh, that's what those, the traders hooked all those things up to the coffins. A niche in the shape of a bat. I don't think I have anything that'll fit. Nope, all right. I don't know if you want to open that, Vanessa. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, see? It looks like the like cables coming from the seal, but what are they for? My assumption is, is that they're for pumping the seal's life energy into these vampiric coffins. Whoever did this is a very, very bad guy. I mean, ha it has to be Mill. Well, it doesn't have to, I suppose. But I think it's Mills, Gordon Mills. What a jerk. Creepy. Glass cutter, spearhead. Let's see, what do we need to do out here? Let's see, we need to pry this, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it does work. Backbone part. Yes, that's for that werewolf dealie. Anything? Nope. All right. Let's go here again. Maybe the werewolf can defend us against the vampire. No, I don't think it's that sort of story. Some backbone parts are missing. At least we could put it in before we had all of them, I suppose. Let's go. Now we need to go... What do we have? We have a glass cutter. We don't have anything for here, right? No? I don't think so. How will I reach it? Oh, duh! I'm so... St I just... I'm not going to say I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm actually... I just remembered. The glass cutter. We have to go back to the cathedral. It's what we were looking at. Um, Let's look at our map. The wine cellar. Yes. That little bat that's in the glass. Oh, jeez. Good God. Never mind me. No, oh, we have to talk to this idiot first. How is your investigation going? Good, thank you. I'm close to finding the last seal. Sounds excellent. That means the Order chose the right person to complete this mission. Thank you for the confidence. Since things are going well and you don't need my help, I'll leave you for a while. See you again. <laughs> um, good covering up your obvious suspicions there, Vanessa. That, that was uh, pretty smooth, I have to say. E. I'm going to suck your blood out now. You'll be my first undead. Well, not first, but. Ah, oh, dude. We got a stained glass bat. Woo-ha. I think we have everything out of here now. Finally. Well, Vanessa, I'm going to go get those vampires going and those werewolves and ghouls before you spoil all my plans. Ah, I figured that's what you were going to do. Oh, I laid it on pretty thick, did I? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Even I got it. Man, I must have been obvious. You were, sir. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Please don't, you know, chain me up in a weird cellar and feed me to vampires. Well, would ghouls, feeding you to ghouls, be better? Uh, not really. I didn't think so. Oh, phew. All right. Well, let's, um, wake up some elder horror. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gross. Here, draw, get a sharpie out. Draw some, <laughs> some things on him. Yeah. Uh.
Oh, that's so hideous. Okay, we can't do anything more. Get away from that, Vanessa. Get the hell out. All right, let's go up this way. I can't believe I had to touch a vampire. Yeah, that was pretty horrible. And even horrible. I wonder where her grandfather is. Jeez. Um. Wow, this is a room anyways. Is that the dude we just saw? That vampire? There could be something behind the portrait, but how can I get to it? How about matches? Oh, come on. He doesn't look evil or anything. It looks like there should be two paintings here. Oh, okay. I thought maybe we need to slide this one, but apparently not. Well, since everything is going so well, I'll leave. You don't need my help. I'll leave you for now. Um. Oh, jeez. I think certain symbols have to be put into the frame, but at the moment, I don't know exactly which ones. All right. Well, then let's go. That's that little thing we just saw. How about that book? The red wine? Message? Message? No? Ah! Is there anything from her grandfather here? I think something is in the fireplace, but it'd be painful to try to get out, get it out with my bare hands. Okay. Well, I guess we have to find Oh, wow, there's a, a sword. That's just the place for a precious stone. Oh, okay. Oh, we have one, though. Woo-ha! Activate the... I thought maybe it would activate this suit of armor as a holy automata that would go and go ham on those vampires. But I think the idea is to not let them wake up rather than defeat them once they're going. Button. Alrighty, we got the button that we needed for out there. What is in here? New York Times bestsellers? Who knew? Without a handle and we... Ah! I don't think this is a handle, but let's just try. Nope. Alright. <laughs> nothing. Nothing, nothing. Oh, the helmet. Oh, has. I don't think that's a Holy Avenger helmet. No. <laughs> a bat figurine. Number two. No, nothing? Huh. Oh. I did not mean to go out quite yet, but we're probably done for now. In here, I just meant to look at this floor or anything down here. Yes. I've already seen a sign like that on the neck of one of Gordon Mills' dogs. It's no coincidence Jay. that it's here now. No. So Mills is involved in the theft of the seals. Yikes. Good memory there, Vanessa. Let's actually take a look. Jay? I've already seen an emblem like that on the neck of one of Gordon Mills' dogs when he greeted me at the steps of the cathedral. But as far as I remember, the second dog had no neck... neckerchief. <laughs> Furthermore, this thing couldn't be here by coincidence. So Mills is connected to the theft of the seals. Can he really be the very same traitor of the hunch the hunchback warned me about i need to tell father benedict about everything but i first i've got to get the last seal back Oof, wow
This is a cool song. Another bat figuring. Now they're starting to just fly on in. This game has a good soundtrack. I will give it it. Oh, well, I'll give this game a lot of things. This game's pretty fun, actually. This game has a good soundtrack. And if everything under the sun scares you like me, it even gives you a few jumps. <laughs> uh, no, no one is. So let's go back out to the front. This right here? Yes. Set the gems into the recesses of the corresponding colors. Um, huh? Set the gems into the recesses of the corresponding colors. Oh, I see. Hmm. There we are. Easy peasy. A mosaic part. Alrighty. <laughs> Scatter the clues as widely and <laughs> seemingly randomly as possible, but don't make it actually random. Make it actually intricately planned and hand placed. Well, let's go back in. Uh, 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 the mosaic was right here. Alrighty. Restore the drawing by swapping the parts of the rings. Huh? Can you do this? No, okay, just like this. Is there any key? Oh yes, this center is the key. So there should be something that matches that right there. So that is, yeah, I think this, hmm. Yep, we got the center. No, no. Oh yeah, that actually that worked. <laughs> do be do be do. Yep, we. Nope. Oh, they can swap sides. I did not know that. I didn't realize it. Anyways. Who? Now this one looks... No. No, that doesn't look right either. Obviously that's not correct, you idiot. This one might, though. There, that one. Okay, once you get them, they, they just lock. You don't have to finish the whole ring. Eh. Yes. Okay, so that's... There are a lot of them are similar. See, that looks like it could fit there, but it apparently doesn't. Yes, that fits though. Of course, I was just sort of guessing by. <laughs> yeah. Nope. This doesn't go here either, does it? Yes, it does. Yes, that one fits right there, and this goes right here. X. No, it does not. Damn, blast it. No, this goes right here. Yes. Cool. Very good. Very good. Woo-ha. There's a backbone part. And a second portrait or painting, whatever you... Yeah, painting. All right. Well, I think on that note, I'm going to call this episode... This is starting to get kind of, oh, man, towards the end. Man, Mills, Gordon Mills, you scumbag. What a jerk. He's like, I will raise an evil army of undead. So you look at all the things he was doing. So let me think. The seals. What was his purpose with the seal of beasts? Was, he try was that his first attempt at making servants for himself? Or... 
the seal of time. He was to get that time travel calendar. The seal of death, so he could resurrect him, be resurrected by his servants any number of times using a sacrifice, which is kind of grim. And then finally the seal of life, that he can raise up this undead army. What a, what a, what a jerk. <laughs> he might be even worse than a jerk. <laughs> well, anyways, on that note, I want to say thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play of Portal of Evil Stolen Runes. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.